All right, parents, maybe take the kiddos out of the room right now. We're talking about some adult stuff. Ready? More than 2 billion people worldwide suffer from iron deficiency anemia. So Dr. Erwin Goldstein from San Diego Sexual Medicine Alvarado Hospital is here with how this can actually affect sexual function in females. Doctor, good morning. 2 billion. We're not even say million. <laughs> billion people. A lot of people. I am one of those people. I'm just going to put it out there. I have anemia. I've had it since I was like a baby. So, so this is the new report in our fabulous journal, the Journal of Sexual Medicine. Okay. And it's a very important report, so I, I'm going to take two steps backwards and sort of develop this story. Please tell so us. So you have a chair, and it has four legs supporting the chair. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we like to think of four things that support people's sexual functioning. Okay. So there's a diet and exercise uh, leg. There is a relation and emotional leg. There is a hormone leg. And we've been talking about hormones a lot on all these shows that we do. Now we're going to talk about the cardiovascular element. Uh, you need cardiovascular health, so people with hypertension and diabetes and cholesterol and all that. So now we're going to talk about cardiovascular health as it relates to your red blood cells. Okay. Okay, so red blood cells are the way you get oxygen to the tissue. So the red cell binds with iron to take the oxygen to the tissue. Right. That's so an, okay. If you have this condition of mm -hmm. iron deficiency anemia, you have symptoms of, of not enough oxygen going to your Which head. Which would so, be? So let's go over those because okay. the women in the group can, can <coughs> relate. Maybe they can just get the blood test, which is just called hematocrit. Okay. So, so dizziness when yes. standing okay. uh, or, or fainting when standing uh, quickly, uh, headaches, uh, irritability, anxiety, um, uh, pale skin, uh, your heart beats faster, so you get palpitations. Uh, you feel tired and weak, so people who exercise or can't really do the exercise that they want. Uh, restless leg syndrome, because your legs aren't getting the oxygen when you, when you really need them. So those are classic symptoms. There's many more, but uh, women uh, uh, in particular who have those symptoms, but they have to be in the group where they have frequent, long, and heavy menstrual periods. It's really a reproductive age woman's problem because uh, they have excessive blood yeah, loss. Yeah, I, I meant to, I wanted to ask you that, like what age does this really uh, affect? Is it all We're kinds looking of at the reproductive age, 18 to late 40s kind of thing. But that's probably where you get that number of 2 billion that's people. Why, yeah. In some groups, it's a third of that population will have iron deficiency anemia. So it's easy to get this diagnosed, okay? And part of the anxiety and irritability and headaches and feeling lousy mm -hmm. is expressed in sexual dysfunction. So women will have left less arousal, less mm -hmm. lubrication, uh, uh, less interest, less orgasmic potential, maybe in some discomfort during actual sexual activity. So the paper comes out, 250 women were studied who had iron deficiency anemia. Okay. Uh, they gave them iron. It's a 325 milligram capsule tablet. It comes liquid. It's many different forms. And three months later, they checked their sexual function, and lo and behold, Dramatic improvement in dramatic improvement. Yeah, really, statistically significant improvement in lubrication, arousal, interest, orgasm response. So it's a fabulous piece of information to share. That is, <laughs> that is. Okay, so let's say you're a woman that, um, like, you're relating to this stuff right now. Right. Do you need to go to the doctor to get tested and then do this iron, you know, take the iron supplement, yes. or is it something you can just start on your own? Uh, I would encourage to get a doctor's okay. appointment first. Because you can actually take too much iron and have other problems. Oh, we don't want so that. Like Trying to fix the problem. Yes, yeah, <laughs> like everything else. So I think appropriately, appropriately diagnosed iron deficiency anemia is just a blood test, another thing from your blood. So easy. Yeah, so you get a hematocrit and you get what's called iron stores. Okay. Uh, and you can then diagnose the problem, take the therapy, just a simple iron pill, um, and then watch your level of hematocrit go up, watch your iron stores go up, and... The good news is you'll have better cardiovascular function and then translate that to overall better sexual function, better relationship, emotional health, intimacy, all the great things that happen with sexual medicine. I <laughs> love this. I learned yeah. something today. I will thank you. I, 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 I so appreciate you guys doing this. It's so important <laughs> to get this information of course, to the community. It's good stuff. It's good stuff, especially when it's affecting <laughs> 2 billion people. That's a lot of people. <laughs> Dr. Goldstein, thank you for thank being you very here. Much. To get in touch uh, with him at the San Diego Sexual Medicine at Alvarado Hospital, you can go to our website, foxhighsandiego.com, and click the scene on tab. Raul? Can I come back in the room now? <laughs> Why did you leave? Because you said, <laughs> "Oh, the kiddos leave the room. We want to." I get <laughs> it. Yes, conversation. Raul. I heard done. things. No, I heard things. Done. You can come things. back in the room. <laughs> I heard things. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Goldstein, as always. Still ahead on.
Thank <laughs> you.